Hi hey guys, how's it going? So, time for some more custom zombies. So, I come across this map called Absurd, and, you know, when I first seen it, I was like, this map looks dope, it looks great, but then, you know, after downloading it and looking at it, uh, apparently this is a map based off of some clothing company called Absurd. I looked it up, and from what I can tell, it is a clothing company that is UK-based, know nothing about it, looked at their stuff, their stuff looks, you know, decent. Um, but it still looks like a phenomenal map, so I don't know if just somebody that works there done this, a fan of the clothing line done this, no clue whatsoever. Um, but the thing I wanted to touch on before we joined in is the features. So, it, uh, has Modern Warfare 2 slash Call of Duty 4 weapons, that sounds awesome. No dog rounds, classic perks, uh, easy main easter egg, free perk easter egg, buildable shield, two special melee weapons, no bible ending, so survive until we die, if anything we might do a round 30 run. Uh, custom absurd pack a punch camo, and then all zombies are wearing absurd texture clothing. Uh, like I said, no no affiliation with the brand or anything. Just looks like a solid dope map. So with that being said, we're going to take and hop on over <clears throat> to Black Ops Three. We got the coffee in front of us, ready to go. Go on to the zombies. It is early. I actually just woke up. It is two thirty one in the morning on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to anybody that is. Uh, celebrating that i'll be doing that later on today but there is absurd we'll load it up and look we got a woman sitting right there she's ready for the fashionable lifestyle that absurd can't afford you um but yeah it seems like uh, i guess what you would consider uh streetwear uh, i would say like they did have some very solid looking hoodies i will say that so you know if you're in the uk uh i didn't pay attention if they ship you know u.s or international or anything i would almost doubt it i, I mean I'm, you can get anything shipped international if you want to you know you know, give a, give a left leg for it. So absurd, and so yeah, the uh, the map itself is apparently like within the absurd logo. So like the map is shaped like the word absurd. Um, I just don't know. I'm looking at this drawing the best that I can, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to discern the whole the whole map layout. I'm trying to. <clears throat> God dang allergies, brother! They're going to take and kill me before the day's over. Oh, that coffee's hot. Whew, but that's better than cold coffee. That's for sure. So, boom, there we go. Ten years later, we're loading in. Be good to go. Uh, what we got? So, right at the rip, USP 45. We got 11, well, so 12-round magazine. We started out 48 inside, 47 left after that one. How much is our doors? Doors, doors. Well, you know, I gotta say, I mean, you know, if the company decided to take and drop a custom zombies map, I think that's awesome. I mean, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty unique and a solid marketing, marketing idea in my book. Uh, it, it didn't come out too long ago. Um, I think it came out sometime in April. Uh, I'm sure you, you could, you can go back at the beginning of the video and look on the, uh, the Steam page or go to the Steam page for yourself and check it out. Okay, that's already out of the books. Boom, 800, wait, do we have a... Got a quick revive anywhere around here at the beginning. God, you know what? Honestly, I want to take in some of this, uh, some of this scenery. Obviously, absurd is going to be slapped here, there, and everywhere. Uh, and it's looking like so. If we're in the letter, we're here. So we're starting at A. So this place is going to be A. Oh, hello there. Thanks for touching me, baby. You normally got to pay somebody a hundred dollars to touch me. Um, but that's seven fifty. I did. I, I honestly did not mean to buy that. But anyway, it's open. Boom. So this is going to be one of those maps with many, many doors. It seems. Okay, try to get some collab points lined up. Turn, <clears throat> turn my game audio up just a wee bit. Okay. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. God dang. I think I got lucky right there. It's like that first swipe kind of like missed me just by hair. And now, so this map is nice and covered, at least in this original area. Uh, you know, the brightness is good. It's not one of those maps where you immediately uh, are struggling to, you know, see two feet in front of you. Okay, got that going for us. We got quick revive. 
I just took and ate some leftover salmon and uh, <clears throat> rice and what was the other? Oh yeah, macaroni and cheese. So I'm nice and fueled up, ready to go. Okay, we got an upstairs area. It seems five hundred bucks. What's up here? Oh, the power. Okay, bro, I will take that right off the. Oh, did not want to do that, but. Okay, and the initial, uh, like, frame rate drop that you get a lot of times in custom maps when you turn on the power didn't seem to really happen, so that's a nice little, oh, that's a nice little <clears throat> plus for them to, oh, ouch, 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 hello there, son. That was completely my fault, too. Oh, no. Tight spot, tight space. Oh, my wiener, bro, am I about to go down right here? I really am. Yep, I'm gonna go down. There's nothing, that, that is kind of sad. That's really sad on my part. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> I wouldn't have happened if I hadn't fell out of that stupid hole. I hate it whenever those, uh, those, I mean, like, it's, you know, it's an interesting thing to have them holes just kind of laid around. Jesus Christ, crawler, if you get me down, bro, I will find your mother and I will put her on a stick. <clears throat> okay. So whenever we open that door, I open this door as well. Okay, that's just a wall. We're in A. I think this door is going to get us over to B side, maybe. Like, we go through that food court area and get to B side. Do need to buy a gun, but I want to take and double check and look in the sky and see. Okay, yeah, it looks like the mystery box is either in the next level over. But, uh, since we don't have any real lifeline, even if we bought that door for a thousand, we're not going to have enough points to do anything else. There's that drop through. Just try to check all these areas. But <clears throat> oh, part. Hello. Okay, so boom. Got a piece to the zombie shield. But no, I gotta figure out where all these perks are. Okay, so maybe this is how we get to be. Yeah, okay. So that the box is over there. I wanna see what this AR is right here. ACR. Oh man, we just short. Okay, let's see if there's if we get a window and then kill <clears throat> build a window and then kill this crawler, we should be good to go. You could probably just build one more window and be good to go. Two more for good measure. Boom, there we go. We get the ACR. Oh, wrong way. Bop. And here we go. Cock the lock and ready to rock, baby. Just knife this guy so we can start off the ACR nice and fresh. How much was this? 1600 Okay, so that might be a little bit better, but the ACR is good, and I like the way it sounds. What was this? That's a UMP-45. What is that? Okay, that's nothing. Oh, well, the box... Okay, the box is right there, so... Good to know. Since there's gonna be so many doors, you know, you might as well kind of, might as well rebuild some barriers here and there just to uh, help stack the points that much quicker. Oh my god! Okay, so one thing that I've definitely taken note of is there is all kinds of random crap you can get hung on, like that little sign right there. So even though this map is nice and open, it's not that doesn't Okay, I gotta... Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to get that nuke, but I was like, why, did the, why is the max ammo not working? Let me just rebuild these barriers while we got double points. Would have hoped to have actually got some... Okay, well, at least we got one kill. <clears throat> one kill with it. 
Okay, so now we're in B side. So that so the connection's really close. I thought there was gonna be like this bridge system, um, which I'm glad it's not. I feel like there's supposed to be a table right there. And if all goes well, maybe we'll find Jug on this side. Okay, nope, we got double tap. And it said classic perks. I mean, I'm assuming there's only four perks. Unless by classic perks, they just mean there's none of the, you know, like, designer custom zombie perks on here. Yeah, ain't we got any zombies popping back? Yes, we do. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll buy the box after I take and unload this. Jesus Christ, the way this USP-45, the recoil is, it kind of dicks with where you're aiming. Do wish, uh, if any other companies decide to do some sort of custom zombies map, it's always nice if you include a zombie counter. That's, uh... That's a that's always a big plus in custom zombies. Just so just just so you know, at least in my book. How much is this bad boy? A thousand. Okay, yeah, let's pop a box one time. Just get rid of her. Ooh, AK-47. Nothing like a good Kalishnikov to pop some Nagi zombies. 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 There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Mm, it's got a nice sound as well. Okay, gotta check these air. Oh, what that say? Ingredients required. Okay, so that must be somewhat of this Easter egg. We'll, you know, we'll. The Easter egg's not the main objective. We're just. To acquire ingredients. Oh, well. Okay, maybe this Easter egg is a little bit easier than. Okay, I don't want to get dicked by these zombies. But we are in a food court, so... Huh. Okay, I doubt there'd be any here. You're like, we're not going to spend a lot of random time. Oh, no, that's the same door. I thought it opened both of them. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, normally, you know, in zombies, it tends to be a rule of three, so there's normally, like, three different. Can I come in? Yeah, there's normally, like, three different ingredients, or three, I mean, three different parts to the puzzle. Okay, so, yeah, let's go check that stove area and see. I hear something glowing. Hey, that's a free perk. Okay, so that wasn't the little Easter egg deal. Okay, we got double tap. Let's go ahead and move on out into this area. Well, actually, you know what? Let me check something. I seen the staircase right here, and either that's like a bridge to get to the next level. It is, I think. And I don't see a perk. Ooh. Okay, that's a sniper. Okay, we'll, we'll rock with ACR right now. I think the AK is a little bit harder hit. Well, I don't know. Right now, they're both kind of hitting pretty hard. But we also got double tap now, so... That's just a double whammy, but I hope that we can get... To Jug... Before too long. Oh, okay, here we go. So this is... Probably where Jug's at, because we're in the medical. Yes, sir! Just don't have enough points yet. Gotta yeah, watch my back and leg start spawning behind me. I'm trying to pull the old sneakies. Yeah, once we get Jug, I mean, I'll feel a lot more comfortable. Okay, round seven. Got enough for Jug. 
And then we can really let the exploration begin you. Begin dude, I swear I'm not I'm not joking. I just my brain is not woke up yet. I've not got my coffee in me. So I'm just I'm mixing words left and right. Okay, absurd. So we're in R, so we're not too far away. Ooh, I like the arsenal. I wish you would let me in. Uh, let's see what we got. So, yeah, we're about like, I don't know, 14 minutes into the, into this map progression. It looked like in the, in the pictures, somewhere on the map, there's like a very open area. I don't know if we're anywhere near that, or if we just straight up missed it, or if I just misinterpreted what I thought I saw. Okay, got a new. See if we can finish these bad boys without get a free 400. Okay, there can't be like one or two left. Let's we'll go ahead and pop that. Okay, and let's go into the big D, baby. Okay, oh, and here's Pack-A-Punch. I already got that found. Did, did, did. I know one thing I've not done is I've not done a good job of checking for the, uh... Checking for the zombie shield parts in, like, in these past few areas that we've done, but... Okay, I don't know if that truck is a Bible part or what. So yeah, like these side runs right here are pretty open all like, you know, on their own. So I mean, I'm not really worried about the areas being too tight. I just got to try to make a mental note of all the little things that you can get caught on. Wait, there's something. Okay, so there's absurd clothing that we can feed a we can feed souls to. This is the first one of these I've noticed. Okay, so this one's just a white t-shirt that says absurd. I'm going to get that right there, but is there anything out here? Okay, that is a very bad spot to be in. Kind of figured they might have like a zombie part or something out there. I mean like a zombie shield part. Okay, they can come in right there. Good to know. God dang, bro. Wherever they come from right there, they come out fast. Okay, so that one just gave us a death machine. Let's definitely open for something a little bit more. But I reckon beggars can't be choosers. Okay, I just wanted to kill some in here. It doesn't look like there's anything of substance in there. That's not a Bible. Okay, there's Speed Cola. Cop a swig of that. Yay. Okay, right here, this, so this must be a, buy, uh, yeah, a soul collection. Bro, I'm so confused. I, I swear I don't think I've noticed another one of those. What we got right here? M4A1. I think I'm going to take a uh, hit the box again here, man. We got enough of the AK-47, I think, to get us through filling up this thing. And this, you know, this has to do something with the Easter egg since there's not a Bible ending. I'm going to leave that closed. I don't think they can come through. That's glass. I mean, this isn't like, you know, I wouldn't consider this a speed run, but I mean, I'm going to kind of see kind of how 
quick we can progress through things once we get everything set up and then, then we, you know, we'll take and pack a punch. I might pack a punch this AK. This AK seems like it'll be dope pack a punch. Oh, hello there. Don't know what this is. Tar 21, okay. I really do need to kind of backtrack a little bit right here because... I mean, I really, this is the first time I've noticed these shirts. So if they've been through the rest of the map, then I've just kind of been clueless the whole time. So yeah, but it does seem like we only have the four OG perks. Which is fine by me. Okay, and I'm trying to think too, so the zombie shield that we got, I've got to kind of re-rack my brain and try to think of, oh, where, of what those individual parts look like. Like I said, none of these are that difficult to, uh, to do. You see, like, I'm not noticing any other shirts. I don't know why they would make it shirts for that and then like another, they, I mean they could have done like another brand item. Yeah, yeah, sorry, like, this is, this is one of those slow moments. Just trying to cross the, uh, cross the T's, dot the I's, all that fun stuff. We do need to get these top zones open, so. Okay, M4, O, A, 3, okay, that's just a hop down. I do like the fact that they made it to where, you know, the zombies don't spawn, like, in front of you after you move two feet. On a map layout like this one, that would definitely make things a lot more difficult. Okay, I still I'm gonna leave that one closer. I think that's like a good a good place to kind of back up and hold you on. Alrighty, let's just pop off some more kills right here, and then we'll do more exploration and stuff here in a minute. Cause I do want to go ahead and get the pack up, like go ahead and pack a punch something, just because I'm. I think it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I want to see kind of like what this absurd camo is going to be like on the guns. Oh my gosh, I need that. Need that caffeine flowing through my veins. We'll be making more than enough points this round to uh, have enough to pack. And I also believe there is, like, the double pack. I don't know if that will apply to all the weapons or how they've got that situated, but... Wait, is this the door we can buy? This door opens magically, so that must be what the soul collection's for. So obviously we got to find, got to find what else absorbs the souls. Might be at the very beginning. Very possible. And then, then again, there's also there's still some doors and things that are not open. Boom! There we go. So we got the AR3K4790 and this absurd logo. And that looks like UK color, so I'm, that makes sense as well. Rocking the old Queen of England, flipping out there drinking tea out of her snatch. Oh no. 
And we'll get a max ammo in no time, so like, I just want to take and have a little bit of fun with this gun. Might be a little overkill right now, but when it comes to slashing zombies, I mean, there, there's no such thing as overkill. I'm still very suspicious about this outdoor box area. I think I, I just, I really do feel like I'm overlooking some. Oh, we got a grenade launcher. Okay, we we'll get that. Is there really nothing out here? That feels so strange to me. Why would you put that spot out there and not have anything there? I just think they're just doing it to play like it's like psychological warfare. Okay, yeah, that's a dead end corner. So, some of these zombie shield parts have got to be just hugging a wall pretty tight mixed in with a bunch of garbage. Ouch, 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 Stamina up would have been really nice, not gonna lie, but... Doesn't look like that's in the cards. When it said classic perks, it meant... Classic perks. Ouch. But see, look, the problem with, like, trying to, to search these side areas while you're, uh, you know, in the middle of a round is there's all these things that you get hung on. So, yeah, let's kind of push and make our way back to uh, the very beginning and just really... Because, I mean, they could, put, they could put some of their clothing. It could be up against the wall. It could be integrated into a lot of different areas. Okay, that didn't help me at all. Hello there, son. Just go ahead and die for me. Oh, there is stamina up, bro. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's what I get for not flipping, opening up all the zones. Trying to be cheap, bro. Trying to pull Mr. Krabs. I, I, I'm just, I'm trying to understand, like, it don't make sense to me that they would have just put two of those zombie, those clothing items on that one side of the map. But that, like, they, like, they immediately stood out to me when I seen them over there, so I don't see how I could have missed them on this side. Okay, so that was that door. And then, like, if there was one on this side, we would have seen it, I would have thought. Hmm. Okay, up top side... Okay, hello. Okay, we got a crawler. Trying to Jesus Christ at the things you can get hung on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just see a soul go somewhere or was it just that thing flashing? It must have just been that thing flashing because I didn't hear any sounds. Ooh. Okay. Just a wee bit confuzzled. 
See, like, whenever a map has, like, a bunch of small details as this one does, it's very much appreciated from a player's perspective because it just adds so much to the experience. But when it comes to locating items, a million times more difficult. Oh, my God. I just seen that and wanted it, and I got it for a discount. Oh, my God. This thing's nasty. I have a tingle in my wiener that there is some sort of zombie shield part around this area and I'm just not, I'm just passing it. Oh, you can't even ADS with this thing, this thing's hit fire only. Bro, the fact you can buy this thing off the wall is nice. I just want to pack-a-punch this thing to see what it's like pack-a-punch. Like, this thing's better than a ray gun. 750. Here we go. How did I miss this? Come here, dummies. Ouch. Zombie shield. A key is required to open the door, so there's a key. Cross the T's and dot the I's. If I had to guess, the soul collection probably opens up that door that said, you know, uh, something's required and then the key's in there. It's not close enough. But yeah, once again, in any event that, that like somebody affiliated with this company made this map, or they commissioned to have this map made, that gives them a big thumbs up in my book. If I ever come, well, at some point, I will definitely visit the UK, and when I do, bro, I'll, I'll, I'll cop me an absurd hoodie. Unless absurd, you know, sees this and wants to uh, send you boy a hoodie, because I love hoodies. Do do do, here we go. The magic door is open, so once again, the rule of threes, my problem is I completely forgot where that door is. Even though this map is a very, like, it's a simple layout for, I mean, as far as, like, we know that the map is the shape of the, you know, the brand, like, the, the word absurd. I'm having a hard time keeping track because there's a lot of, like, cut-throughs and things. Okay, I already can tell you, I don't think it was this far over. Because part of me was feeling like it was right here, but no. It was against this back wall, wasn't it? I feel like my life's a lie. Oh, there's an axe. Okay. I oh, pick up key card. We found the key card. Any zombie shield? Nope. Okay. Magical door. Magical door. Well, we found it by accident the first time, so I hopefully we'll find it by accident the second time. Okay. 
Ah, screw it. We got points. We'll just go ahead and open this door. No need to keep digging around and running through areas unnecessarily. Like, running around areas unnecessarily. Maybe it was further over. Jesus Christ, how both of those miss. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Bro, the flipping grenade launcher on this thing absolutely wrecks them. You know, I've not, we've not been getting that many drops, like power-ups. Do not kill me, do not touch me, do not touch me. Do not give my consent. Okay. I will find this, don't you worry. Don't you worry, you nips off, baby. I will. Okay, we are back at the beginning. Oh, I want to be kind of careful right here. How many we got left? Okay. So I feel like I found those areas by coming this way. I think. But that is one thing that's funny about zombies is sometimes, like, well, I mean, like, at least with these custom maps, I found both of those doors relatively quickly. Uh, like, you know, not, like, I just happened to cross them pretty quickly when I wasn't, you know, trying to at all. And then now I'm really trying my best to find these doors, and I'm doing a terrible job of it. Part. Bro, that thing's been sitting right there in the middle. Hiding in plain sight. God dang it. Okay, one grenade left. Let's see if we can make it work. See, my thing is, I'm just curious as to what the easter egg could be. I don't know if we get a weapon or if we get a flipping discount code or what. Okay, this door was one of them. Unlock door. Okay. So I think that's where we needed the key card. Teleport. Oh, we got a sword. Oh, but it got rid of my shotgun. Oh, but we can get the shotgun back. Okay, there's got to be more going on here. Okay, never mind. We're back at the beginning. But we've got a sword. Now we've got to find that stupid magic door. But that is, that's a cool element that they throw it in. I guess I'll, I'm just going to have to play and then... Okay, let's see if we can pack a punch this thing. If not, that would be a little disappointing. Why do 
I feel like that door's here. I, I swear I feel like that door's in this room. Like, not this room, but like this area. God. Me phone buzzard. Also, the, the, the run speed with that sword feels really slow. But I guess if you're not supposed to run with scissors, probably not supposed to run with the katana either, but... No, we can't pack a punch in it. Round 16, it's still it's a two-shot hit, so we're going to get rid of this. We're going to go trade it back for that ranger. The old ranger danger. There's dead shot. It's not lighting up, so I feel like something's kind of broke with that, but... Oh, there's the flipping zombie thing. Now I gotta figure out where you build it, because I've not noticed any benches. Oh, yes, sir. Give the caffeine in to me. But so, I mean, if that key card opens this door right here, then that other door that's opened by magic, it can't really be, I mean, by doing the three things, it can't really be nothing too crazy it gives you. Bro, you tell me we can't go back. I want my ranger. I know I can buy it off the flipping. Or maybe it's because, like, we can't go in the same round. Can I go? Man, that's gay. They put that there just to probably like entice you to come back down there so that whenever you do it in the middle of a round you get you get bent over. But I, I ain't gonna lie, bro, I really do. I feel stupid right now that I can't find that door. I feel like it was in such an obvious place. Well, well, see, now we got a gun that we can run fast with, so that's a plus. The only time that I ever remember using the Scorpion and liking it was in BO1. Like, the Scorpion in BO1 was nice. Okay, gotta watch out for all the tables and the dude jigs we can get hung on. Ouch. No, 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 no. Bro, God, they, I mean, you are. Like, the, the noob tube on this thing is legit. Ray Gun Mark II level. It's just taking out whole hordes of these fellas. Magic door, show yourself! I mean, if we don't find it by round 30, then we're definitely done. We're gonna go for round 30. That's kind of like the, uh, the custom zombie benchmark. If there's not a Bible ending, it's just like, you know, hit up round 30. Other than that, there's really no point in... There's no point in drawing things out. There's a part of me that thought the Bible, I mean the uh, the place to build the zombie shit would be in there with the pack-a-punch machine, but it's not appear to be that way. Out here getting some uh, brand placement for UPS and FedEx. Not gonna get that because we need the zombies to come in ASAP. Maybe my problem is I, I this whole time I'm really feeling like the door is on this side of the wall, but it might be not on that side of the wall. Okay, I want to go down this hole again just to see if we can go back because I would like to go ahead and pick that ranger back up. Nope. Okay. Well, so 
play this map. That's a one-time dealio. So, you know, don't don't spend it all at one place, I reckon. Yeah, I'm about to give up entirely on this stupid door. Like, that, this is not... Not knocking anything about the map. I'm just... I'm just retarded, I guess, and I can't find it. What is this? Oh. <clears throat> Back to being retarded! Same thing there. That's just a barrier. These are all just barriers. Trying to block me from my true potential. Okay, well, we got a lot of pointage. Might as well buy the box skin. Then we'll, we're just going to start... Trying to fly through the round. Oh, look at that. We got the ranger back. Oh, well, you know what? It meant to be. The game wants us to have the ranger. I wish the game would want us to have her zombie shield and to open the door. A, B, A, 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 B. Hmm, okay. Not that. That locker would have been a good spot to, like, have had the door, though. Nothing. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much... Oh, wait, that's where we build the zombie shield. Got it. Okay, we got that going for us. Kind of, that, that's a little morale boost. Okay, ammo is like the fact that they made this ranger so hard hitting is nice. Okay, yep. Okay, just time to start popping off now. Maybe we should go ahead and just pack a punch. Why not? Then we can really fly through the rounds if we get one of these bad boys in both hands. Be double fisting it. Oh, yes, sir. Although, I think they do need to check their stamina up because their stamina up. I, really, I just feel like I'm running so slow. Could be because it's early in the morning. My my perception could just be off. Nope, oh, nope. Still a single, but it's the White Feller. It's a solid name. He White. Fe oh my God! There is meal kick. The, they did. They just made these perk machines where some they're not lighting up. Been there that whole time. Let's pop a box and get a third weapon. Why not? Do you know what? That door might have been right there, and that might have been the one that we needed to open. I'm really, I really don't know. I'm, I've, I have, I will admit that I just give up on the door. Where's the crawler at? Hmm. 
Okay. Well, the RPD's sitting pretty solid out of the gate. Let's see what the reload speed's like. Okay, not bad either. Now it's just time to get down and dirty with some dead meat. Okay, since we got the zombie shield, we can go ahead and use our RPD a little bit. Don't think I'm gonna pack a punch this thing though, it just doesn't really seem like it'd be worth it. I'll run. Okay, let's see if we can catch ourselves a fire sale with that Black Friday on a Monday. Today is Sunday, actually. Never mind. Once again, brain's not functioning at full capacity at the moment. Don't touch me stuff. Okay. Getting all the LMGs right now. Okay, you know what? This thing having a mag and the ammo change being so fast is nice, but M14. I love the M14. Ooh. And this thing's hit like an M14 should. And I didn't see this M14 as like a, a, as an original wall buyer, even seen it on the wall so far, so. Seems like this thing's going to be hard hitting all the way through. About to pack a punch this thing too, just to play around with it. We've not even used our white feller yet. It is a three-round burst double-barrel shotgun. This thing is going to burn through ammo like nobody's business. But it, I guarantee we can take out like a whole train, dude. Oh my god, this M14 is nice. I love the way it sounds. I bet we don't have a fire restriction either. Let's test it out. Okay, yeah, there is a fire restriction, so that's unfortunate, but I can live with it because it sounds good and it hits hard. Boom, get a nuke. Like I said, we're just moving through these rounds now. Let's go ahead and move back towards the, uh, the D side. So we can pack a punch this thing. Hopefully it don't become fully automatic. I hate it whenever they take and turn a, a solid semi-auto weapon into a full auto weapon. It just kind of takes away from the from the sex appeal, in my opinion. Well, that's just me. Maybe I'm the only person that gets sex appeal from weapons, but we've all got our thing, don't we? Thank God, okay. Oh, and we got that nice old school red dot. God, I love it. Well, okay. Hit fire, not, not, on, not on point on that end. Wait, maybe this, maybe this was the door. This, you know what? This was the door that we had to collect the souls to get into. I am pretty positive about that. That has to be, because like, that's the only one that's open since, uh... Oh, 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 I'm over here doing sightseeing. Oh, that's when another one of them corners get hung on. See, the nice thing about having this, uh, the, old, the old white feller, is, like, if you get caught up against the wall or something, that's the gun you want to be able to switch to and, you know, double three-round burst out of uh, any sticky situation. Oh, table, table, table. Like that. 
the right shield took a hard hit on that one, so we'll have to. God dang. Still can't ADS it, which is a little iffy. God, I'm gonna kind of stay around this area a little bit. This is a tight spot. Like, this is not the best place because we got these tables in the middle that you can, like, get hung up on. Um, but as soon as my zombie shield breaks, I would like to be able to cop another one. Did not mean to, I did not want that. I mean, if you pop in noggins, like, I guarantee this thing's gonna be like a one shot, like, round 30 to the head. Boom, okay, 22, alrighty. Wouldn't mind to max ammo relatively soon, but. We gotta get, okay, I think this is actually the best zone to run because this thing right here, there's not a lot to get hung up on right there. We got all these little pass through areas. Kind of see what the game deals is with like how many they spawn coming from a certain direction so I don't know if it's because of these modern warfare weapons or what it is but it's like whenever you're reloading you can't really do like the sprint cancellation it doesn't seem like no and then like your guys moving really slow I don't even know if we got a flipping box in here. Got one right there, though. No, we don't. That's a flipping trash can or something. There it is. We'll hit it just out of curiosity. If we get rid of anything, we'll get rid of the AK. Okay, I want that just out of curiosity. It's already gone. Bro, this thing's nasty too. Let's pack a punch it. Only got seven rounds left anyways. Bro, the thing I love is look how tight. Look how tight this hip fire is. This Dragonov, the five, the D one one five dismemberer. This is, I mean, now this is like the best thing we could have if we get backed up into a corner because there's like, it's almost got the same fire rate allowance as the M fourteen does, and it's like a collat monster. Oh, let's not get too carried away. Taking out the whole group of men. It's raining men, but they're in pieces. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I got completely distracted looking at something. That was almost bad. Okay, well see now, we need to make our way kind of towards the front just so we can get ourselves a zombie shield. It's not that we really, really have to have it, but where there's so many things we can get hung up on, it's nice to have that butt protection just for a few seconds so you can kind of sidestep your way out of uh, 
Well, you sidestep your way out of a predicament if you find yourself in one. And the way things have been going, we will find ourselves in yet another predicament. Why does running feel so slow with stamina up? Just have to do the infinite slide. Now I feel safe again. Boom. And we're going to have an instant kill for the next round. Let's go. So I know this video is going to be over an hour, but I still hope you home dogs enjoy it. Uh, just thought I'd put something up, you know, on, you know, on Mother's Day. Try something out. Have a little fun with the zombies. Still, we got tons of blueprints to cover in Call of Duty Vanguard. We got more class setups. I'm going to start going back, revisiting some of the OG weapons, doing, uh, you know specific types of class setups based on like your gaming style you know aggressive long range things like that i know i've been mentioning about doing that but i want to make sure that i got all the primary weapons done first and you know it just so happens that now we're at that point primary weapons are done so we can get to uh we can get to all those other little subcategories i i'm looking forward to revisiting the pistols i really you know love playing around with the pistols um on every call of duty and the ones at Vanguard are really nice, especially the old 1911. Also, notice so there's and there's you know there's no traps or anything on this map, but like just with these weapons, it's like they made these weapons kind of like ridiculously powerful. Once they're pack a punch. God, bro, this thing's so fun to use. God, I love it. I love it. Makes me feel like a man. Oh, that window right there is right by the door you need to walk into. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell exactly like what, what the range is for this, but it reaches out further than I kind of think thought it would. I don't know, I almost kind of wish they would have give us, uh, it, it was like, you know, dual wield, and then you, you'd have, that is why I told you the dragon would be good if we got backed in a corner, that worked out a lot better than it should have. Jesus Christ, bro, what is with all the little things to get hung on on here? I really need that max ammo. But there we go. Near the end of this round, I will see if I can uh, get these guys to like break my. Okay, yep, this is the last little group. We'll have him come over here and assist me in acquiring a new zombie shield.
Alrighty, boys, take your best shot. Okay, well, you know what? This is going to be kind of, this is going to kind of be like an anticlimactic end. But we've done everything on the map. We can go for around 30. We've got plenty of points to buy our perks back, and I could easily buy our perks back. But since we're over the hour mark, we're just going to end it here. So, to the people that made the absurd map, very nice, very fun to play. Really like it. If you're looking for a fun challenge, like a fun survival map, then this is a great one to do. I can definitely see this getting a little bit more challenging on in the higher rounds where you constantly have to deal with new waves of, you know, high health zombies kind of the rush you got all these things you get hung up on so it's a fun fun layout fun map very detailed i like it the only thing i wish you could go back in that teleporter like if there was a way to where you could you know relink it do something just so that you'd have a place to go back maybe reclaim a weapon swap out a weapon have a backup weapon something there pack a punch where that table is just there but then you know those are just little random comments don't really matter because this is just a fun custom zombies map so as always, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to channel, share your friends, check the link in the description of my other channels, especially Pro Caliber HQ. Just upload a new video on that, so go check that out, sub to that channel. Hit me up in the comments section, let me know what you think about custom zombies. If you see a custom zombie map that you want me to play, you think I'd like, you know, any of that, let me know about it, uh, especially if I haven't played it or posted it yet, and I will, uh, I'll check it out. So, until the next one, boys, adios.